Hello everybody, my name is Ashley Hanna. I'm the Moody Reader. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is a channel where we talk about books and we overanalyze them and we talk about our hopes and dreams for them, uh, especially in this video because we're going to talk about the books that are on my radar for 2023. Um, I just filmed slash scrapped uh, a video of my best slash worst books of 2022. But then I realized that 2022 is not over yet. Live in the moment, people. And I looked like a fraggle. So we're gonna do this video instead. Um, I no longer look like a fraggle, thank you. Uh, so these are, let's see, how many books? One, two, three, four, five, six. These are six-ish books that I can't wait to be published. Um, I will try to remember to put the um, the publishing date, I believe, but one of them doesn't have a publishing date and you'll know why in a second. So we are not going in publication order because that would be, require me to have too much forethought and we don't do that here. We just kind of like go off of whims. So the first book that I'm looking forward to reading and will actually buy because I'm slightly on a book buying ban, slightly not, it's, we're flying by the seat of our pants, is Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare, which is coming out January 31st, 2023. <laughs> I can't wait. I want the conclusion. I know it's super basic, um, I but I've read almost every Cassandra Clare book. It's a, it's a holdover from my teenage years. It'll always have a special place in my heart. Um, and Shadowhunters. Everybody knows them, everybody loves them even though the plots are very formulaic and basically you know what's gonna happen before you know what's gonna happen. Um, but there's lots of angst, what can I say? And I really do enjoy the, um, the Victorian era that we're in again, because I read The Dark Artifices when it came out and that was good, but I just really love like going back into the past and being a shadow hunter in the 1800s, I believe. So love it, can't wait to read it. And I was super pissed when the um, publication date got pushed back. So all is well now. Okay, the next book that I can't wait to read is Hellbent by Lee Bardugo, which is going to be published on January 10th. Well, that's quick. <gasps> January 10th. Whoa. Okay, we don't have to wait any longer to know what's happened to the characters. I don't know if I can spoil this, but there's a character and we need to know what happened to them. So um, this book is, you know, about Alex Stern and she is uh, doing some undercover work basically for this Ivy League school. It's dark academia, it's ghosts, it's fantasy. It's a little weird in some respects, but it was a really interesting book and it's kept me thinking about it years after the fact, after it came out and um, the, cliffhanger that it left out off on really kept me like wanting to know. So can't wait for this one to come out and finally have my questions answered. Thank you. Okay, the next book that I can't wait to come out that has no publication date because the author hates us. I'm just kidding. Patrick Rothfuss, I, I know you don't hate us. I don't hate you. I love you. Please just give us the book we're waiting for. Is Doors of Stone by Patrick Rothfuss. Now you might say, Ashley Hanna. He will probably never put this book out ever, ever, ever. And to that I say, always have hope. Um, this is going to be the third book in the King Killer Chronicles um, about our main character, Quoth, who is just this badass, um, redheaded man who can do magic. That's all I can really say to sum up a whole world. Um, I love the characters, I love the plot, I love the magical aspect, I love our mysterious woman that's involved. It's just, it's all great. And um, I think that now that the hype has died down and he's not, because I think Patrick Rothfuss was a little bit, I think he was suffering from some anxiety on like disappointing people and not writing like the conclusion to a whole epic trilogy well. And so I think that now that the hype has died down and people aren't actively like, when's it gonna come out? That it might come out this year. I'm keeping hope alive and I think you should too because 
way back in the day when Stephanie Meyer wrote uh, Midnight Sun and it got leaked online and she said, I'm never gonna publish it. What happened? We got Midnight Sun. Did any of us want it? Some of us didn't, some of us did. So I think that Doors of Stone could possibly come out this year. Let me know down below if you think that it could as well. The next book that I am eagerly awaiting is A Twisted Love Story by Samantha Downing. Now this book comes out July 18th, so we have a little bit of a wait there. And this book looks like it's about uh, a very toxic couple who have very high highs and very low lows. And it's Samantha Downing, so you know there's gonna be murder, you know there's gonna be twists and turns. Um, I first became a super fan of Samantha Downing after I read her, after I read My Lovely Wife, I believe, and that one was great, kept me entertained throughout the entire thing. So I can't wait for this one. And I think this is the only mystery thriller that's actually on my list. So you know that I really wanna read it. Okay, and the next book that I would like to read is Between Us by Vari McFarlane. Side note, I know I butcher her name every single time I say it. I'm really trying, Vari. Um, this book is, I have no idea what this book is about, actually. This says, when Joe and, oh my gosh, I can't say this name, Royson, Royson, Wasson, something like that. What's up? It's editing me. Uh, apparently Google says it's pronounced Roisin because it's Irish and uh, my Irish ancestors are probably shaking their fists at me. Sorry. <laughs> Join their group of friends for a weekend at a country house. It's a triple celebration, a birthday, an engagement, and the launch of Joe's shiny new crime drama on TV. For Royson, it's a chance to connect with the group of friends she made a decade before working at Waterstones. But for Joe, it's a distraction as his, as his writing career soars. As the weekend unfolds, tensions are revealed between the group and Royson's sense of foreboding, foreboding about her own relationship grows. And when the friends watch the first episode of Joe's drama, she realizes that the secrets she told him are right there on the screen. But is that all he's used? What if the fictional hero's infidelity also isn't fictional after all? What? Oh my gosh, that's a lot. So I love Vari's romance. This one comes out April 13th. I cannot wait. I only wish that um, her books were more widely um, sold in America because we usually get them much later, but I can't wait. It Her books always have some kind of like deeper um, conversation. And then like the romance is kind of like, you have to dig through to find it. And then when you find it, you're like, that was amazing. So can't wait for that one. And then the last book that I'm looking forward to reading this next year. Ooh, it comes out the same day as Chain of Thorns. Y'all, it's gonna be a pop in January. So this book is Finlay Donovan Jumps the Gun by uh, L. Casanano. And this one is number three in the Finlay Donovan um, series trilogy. And it comes out January 31st. And um, I really did enjoy Finlay Donovan is killing it. That was a really good one. And then of course I read the second one pretty much right after. This was this past year. And yeah, it's just a good, um, it feels like a cozy mystery. I don't know if it's technically classified as one, but it's about a woman, Finlay Donovan. She is the mother of two and she's going through some relationship trouble. She has an ex-husband and um, she's an author, but she's trying, she's really um, struggling to pay the bills. And um, one day she's in a Panera of all places. And um, while she's talking to her publisher, agent, somebody um, about her next novel, because she writes crime, crime thriller, mystery novels. Um, while she's talking to her agent, she gets overheard and someone thinks that she is a, uh, a hit woman. And so they pay her to, you know, knock somebody off. So. It's a fun story. I liked especially the the momming aspects of it for whatever reason. I love those aspects. So can't wait to see what happens. I'm confused on the romantic element and who she's going to choose. I'm really confused. But So those are the books that I am eagerly awaiting. Um, let me know down below if 
any of those books are on your radar. And uh, I will talk to you guys again next time. Bye.